Hey guys, welcome back to Rack of Lamb. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make a worm-like pandan jelly, commonly used in a Vietnamese dessert which I believe is pronounced bun lo. It's super simple and I think you'll enjoy it. To make pandan jelly, you will need two and a half cups of water, half a cup of mung bean starch, a quarter cup of rice flour, two tablespoons of sugar, a quarter teaspoon of pandan extract, and an eighth of a teaspoon of sea salt. In a small pot, add your water, sugar, mung bean starch, and rice flour. Begin to whisk the batter to avoid any clumps from forming. Then you're going to add your salt as well as the pandan extract. Now turn on the fire to medium high and continuously whisk until the batter thickens. Once it looks like this, turn off the fire and begin to work quickly while proceeding to the next steps. Which includes preparing a large ice bath for the pandan jelly. You're also going to need to have a potato ricer ready. Today I'll be using this one by Belle Maine who was nice enough to send me this tool to try. The ricer is made with high quality stainless steel and a very comfortable handle. To use this tool for pandan jelly, we're simply lifting it up, removing the sleeve, then selecting the disc that you'd like to use. There's a fine one, medium, and coarse, which we're going to use today. After placing the disc in, ensure that it is leveled, then place the sleeve back in. In batches, we're going to place the pandan batter into the Belmain ricer, then press gently and watch the worm-like pandan droplets enter the ice bath. In addition to this, it could be used for none other than mashed potato as well as baby food, which is perfect for me because as you guys may know, I just had a baby. Attempt to create jelly that's about two to three inches. And once you're done with the first batch of paste, dip the ricer into the ice bath for removal of any residuals. These are looking pretty good and I can't wait to put them into a drink. The Vietnamese dessert bun lo is typically a combination of this pandan jelly with sweetened coconut milk and a syrup. However, this jelly is versatile and can be used in a variety of other refreshments. It can also be paired with red azuki beans and shaved ice. After quickly ricing three batches, we have ourselves a bowl full of pandan jelly. You may serve this jelly in a traditional southern Vietnamese dessert, but I like to keep it simple by transferring them into glasses, then adding sweetened coconut milk and an optional dash of evaporated milk. Add some ice to beat the heat, extra sugar if you have a sweet tooth, and other toppings if you like it more exciting, and you have yourself a refreshing dessert with pandan jelly. I hope you all enjoyed my video recipe. For more content like this, please subscribe and visit my blog, rackoflamb.com, for more. Thanks for watching.